If you want to look like a God, feel like a God, have the mindset of a God. to die for what I want. You know what I mean? Like, I love this so much, I'm willing to die. I don't care if it kills me. This is the same mindset Ronnie Goldman has, same mindset any champion has. They're willing to die for the craft. You gotta train where God is. The body follows the mind. I mean, when your mind is in the right place, uh, you know, you keep your stress levels down, uh, you're mentally strong, you have good mental tools to wake up to every day, you're thankful, you're grateful, you're positive, you, you realize that you're blessed. The sky's really the limit. Right, the sky is really the limit. And your body really will follow. Right. Oh, the mental game is the biggest game. And I always say, you gotta eat and drink good thoughts. Absolutely, absolutely. I have positive affirmations every morning when I wake up. Positive affirmations when I go to bed every night. Come on, Howie. Strong. Strong, baby. Go on. So when you're in the weight room, when you're playing football, injuries aside. Secretly, always have that love affair with body. Almost like a first love, absolutely. To get to this level, you all heard about hard work and dedication, but there's a passion involved. I don't care if you're from a small town USA to the big city of New York, the city of champions in Boston, or where everybody wants to go to the sunshine of LA. If you have, if you believe, you can achieve. Anyone can do this. It just takes hard work, dedication, and having a game plan, all right? So, last one, best one. bodybuilding starters, so no longer walking with the Giants, but the classic pretty physiques where any kid in America can try to attain something at this level. Right. Very dark sport, and unless you're willing to go through the darkness, you know you're not going to be a champion. You see guys that are smiling in the preps and they're happy in the gym. Those are the guys getting fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth place. The guys getting one, two, three is the guys that are fucking really going through problems, you know, where they can't wake up, where you know they can't spend time with the family, where they, you know they got to break up with the girlfriends because the pressure is on. Where they open up Instagram and you feel like fucking beating the shit out of somebody who says that, you know, someone looks better than you. Or, you know, even the opposite. When people praise you too much, you know, that hurts too. You know, because people tell you you're the best. And then you start to believe that you're the best. So then you get in here and you stop at rep number nine instead of going to 10. Or, you know, you stop your cardio at 44 minutes instead of doing the extra minute. You know, because people tell you you're the best and they brainwash you. The guy who says level headed is gonna win, you know. It says, fuck you, I don't care. You know, you say I'm gonna win. It don't mean shit. That don't mean I'm gonna win. You know, you say I'm gonna lose, it don't mean shit. I'm gonna work twice as hard, I'm gonna win.